The first step is to fill the largest pot that you have with water. Fill about halfway and place on the stove. Turn the heat on high to get the water boiling quickly. Place the turkey carcass into the pot. Add the drumsticks, wings, giblets, and neck. Don't worry if the turkey is not completely submerged. As it cooks, the carcass will break down, making it easier to push the turkey completely beneath the water. You can now add more water to bring the level close to the top. While the turkey is stewing, prepare the vegetables by cutting them into large chunks. Add these into the pot, being careful that the water level doesn't rise too close to the top. Leave about an inch so that the liquid doesn't boil over when you put the lid on. Bring the pot to a low simmer and allow the carcass to soften. This will take about 30 to 40 minutes. If your pot is not large enough for the turkey to be fully submerged in the water, push the carcass down every 10 minutes or so and eventually the turkey will break down enough to allow you to put the lid on. Once the lid is on, allow the pot to boil at a low simmer for 3 to 4 hours. Make sure the water is not boiling too much, as the pot can boil over and make a mess on your stove. Once the stock is ready, let it cool down for a few hours before trying to separate the bones from the stock. When the stock has cooled down, place a sieve into a large bowl and begin removing the large pieces of the turkey carcass. If you prefer, you can pour the contents of the pot into the sieve, but this can be messy as the broth tends to spill or splash onto the surrounding area. Place the contents from the sieve into a bag, being careful not to make any holes in the bag as you do this. You can then pour the stock into the sieve and discard the remnants as they are no longer needed. When pouring the stock into your containers, use a metal sieve to catch any larger pieces that may still be there. Leave half an inch of space from the top of the container. Allow the stock to cool in the fridge for a few hours. Skim off the fat from the surface of the stock before using. It can now be used to make soup or as an ingredient in other recipes, and also can be frozen for later use. Thanks for watching Satoshi Cooks. Please check out my other videos on how to make turkey stuffing for beginners, and how to make a stuffed turkey for beginners.